What's happening guys, Sam Adams here, and this is a video that I was really, really hoping that I wouldn't have to make, but we all kind of knew it was coming. The Last Guardian was delayed yet again earlier this week. So now, according to a post on the PlayStation blog by Shuhei Yoshida himself, Hail Shu, Shu, please let us change our names, uh, pretty much it says, a delay is a difficult decision, particularly with this game, but we have encountered more bugs than anticipated while in the final stages of development. To ensure that The Last Guardian delivers on the experience that the game's creators have envisioned, we need to take extra time to work on those issues, which certainly seems to be a good reason for delaying the game. Of course, as we all know, The Last Guardian has had a really rocky development cycle. That is just something that's become common knowledge. I was writing in an article earlier today that pretty much since I've been interested in video games, journalism, and keeping up with the news from the industry, uh, pretty much The Last Guardian has been on the cusp of being released. It has been the next big game to come out, and that is still holding true today. Uh, now, of course, the development actually began back in 2007, and the game was announced at E3 2009, where it was actually pretty impressive looking because it took the power of the PlayStation 3 that was still relatively revolutionary back then and combined it with that beautiful art style that Team Ico had become known for in Ico and Shadow of the Colossus to create something that was very unique and was definitely on track to fulfill the expectations that fans had uh, kind of set for the third game from Team Ico after such an incredible two games that pretty much defined the PlayStation 2 generation for a lot of gamers. Now, as 2010, 2011, 2012 kind of approached and came and went, there were a lot of issues behind the scenes that not many people were aware of. Uh, although at E3 2009, the game was looking great, other than that little section of the game that was presented at the show, it was pretty much in shambles. It just wasn't running well on the PlayStation 3, and it was taking a lot of work from not just the original studio and the original development team, but a lot of different resources from inside of Sony that came in to kind of help with this project. Now, on top of that, uh, Fumita Yuida, I believe I said that correctly. These names get me sometimes. Uh, but he actually ended up leaving the original development team and created his own studio by the name of Gen Design, which that team later kind of came together and said, we need to finish what we started, and they went back to finish The Last Guardian, where that team still remains working today. Now, as time has gone on, the fans' expectations have continued to grow, especially towards the last couple of years, since it was reintroduced at E3 2015, and we saw some actual gameplay, and given a release month at E3 2016, that got people really riled up, because there was a light at the end of the tunnel. People could finally see the end of what appeared to be the longest development cycle, or one of the longest development cycles in the entire history of the gaming industry. Uh, and then, of course, a couple of weeks later, we saw the original release date of October the 25th debuted on the PlayStation blog and yet here we are with yet another delay which like I said who's really surprised at this point it's just kind of the tradition of the game that needs to be continued I mean really if the game was never finished it would become kind of like an icon in the gaming industry I wouldn't even be surprised if that's still what happened now now all joking aside the game is coming out on December the 6th I have complete and total faith this is going to be the final release date for the last Guardian because it's pretty much one of those things that you just need to put out into the wild because you've had plenty of time to work on it you've tried your best and it's time to just cut your losses and move on because nothing that happens from this point forward is going to make the game any better in the eyes of people that have overhyped the game have built their expectations way too high it's just going to be a letdown unless I am completely and totally blown away and they've created a masterpiece of a game that is going to go down in history as one of the best of all time though at this point hearing that there are bugs this late in the development cycle it's a little bit unlikely. Overall, The Last Guardian is a great opportunity to remind everyone to temper their expectations for a game's release and also to not pre-order games regardless of the amount of expectations and the amount of hype set behind the game because number one, if you temper your expectations, uh, if The Last Guardian is not in fact what everyone hopes it will be, you won't be completely and totally emotionally devastated and perhaps a little bit on edge, so to speak. Now, if you pre-ordered this game, I would highly recommend canceling it unless you want that collector's edition. I mean, if you absolutely have to have that Trico statue, I kind of understand, but to pre-order this particular game is kind of setting yourself up for either disappointment or anger, something along those lines, because this one just isn't shaping up well. That's just my opinion, but there's certainly a lot of fact to back it up.
So there you guys have it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and let me know what you think about The Last Guardian. Do you think it was wise to delay it yet again to December the 6th from October 25th? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? Do you plan on picking it up? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel or you've never seen any of my other content, I do upload new stuff like three or four days a week depending on the week. So there's always something new right here on the channel when you drop by to watch some videos. But as for right now, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.